Iran executes two gay men accused of forcible sodomy. The Human Rights Activist News Agency, or HRANA, reported that Merdad Karimpour, aged 32, and Farid Muhammadi were executed on Thursday after spending years on death row in Maragay Central Prison. The men were arrested six years ago for forcible sodomy and later sentenced to death. Under Iranian law, forcible sodomy is defined as non-consexual sexual intercourse, but under the country's laws, even consensual sex between two men is punishable by death. Wow. Yeah. What do you say Damn. to that? Right? Yeah. Oh, I can say that right <laughs> I, I want to make sure bef before, <laughs> before we begin our conversation on this story, they liberalized the interpretation of a rape law mm -hmm. in Iran to define their uh, sexual encounter with each other to fall into that category, which could then justify uh, putting them to death. That's it being a crime, absolutely. It may right. become a yeah. crime to that level of punishment. Because it was mutually agreed sex. It yes. wasn't a, yeah, it wasn't saying rape. a rape. Yeah. No. No. They mm -hmm. just changed the wording. Yeah. You know, to what make do it we work. think about what's going on in Iran? I mean, all over the Middle East, there are, you know, there are these archaic laws that uh, that they're pulling on to to just kind of uh, uh, to to demonize us. Uh, it's not that far from what we're actually doing here in the states, right? I mean, we're not putting people to death, but we're certainly dismissing them uh, uh, as people, erasing, right. yeah. erasing them. Right. Yeah, Community. Like we'll talk about the book burning and the no say gay yeah. and all of that that's happening right here. I'm I'm curious. Uh, are you surprised that even our own community is not t like this story uh, and, and last Thursday, uh, uh, them being put to death? Are you surprised that even in our own community uh, here in America, we're not talking more about what's going on in Iran, that they could do something like this? Because you hear very little. Since Thursday, there has been very little conversation uh, in the LGBTQ community in America. And it's not a question of, well, we don't know. It's a question of, we're not paying attention. Does that I think in general, you? historically, the United States doesn't really care what happens in other countries. We have, for many, many years, uh, maintained that isolationist point of view, even to the point where we didn't want to get involved in World Wars One or Two, mm. uh, and we were sort of kind of forced in at the end. Do you all agree with that? It, absolutely. You know, for me, one of the first times that I traveled internationally and watched international news and saw that they were covering things happening all around the world, I was shocked by that because we are very, very just focused on us. Mm. We don't really care about everyone else. I would totally agree because I see that also when I travel abroad, I'm like, oh my God, like they're talking about things in countries I may never have even heard of. Absolutely. And it's, it's huge stories that we choose just to be insular and talk about ourselves and what we're doing, but we don't really focus mm -hmm. a lot on That's it. a great challenge for Core News tonight, uh, first I tell you. Um, let me ask it in a different way. Um, would we be paying attention to this more if it was going on in Afghanistan as opposed to Iran? Or worse, God forbid that I tear a, a, a scab wound open if this went on in Cuba, would we then pay attention? Two gay men are, uh, are put to death in Cuba for having consensual sex. All of the people, would, would it be important then to LGBT here? I don't know. It would be important in Florida and in South yeah. Florida specifically because of, of the great Cuban population. But other than that, probably not. Yeah. Peoria doesn't care. Right. right. <laughs> nope. And it's not really being reported in those places. It yeah. would resonate here more for us. Yeah. And I think that we also have to look at the fact that in America, it was illegal for two men to have sex. And it took someone actually fighting against that law for things to change. And I don't, I don't know a lot of folks who actually know their queer history to know that. But when we look outside and look at other countries, it's like, oh, wow, they're doing this. We're so shocked. And honestly, I think it also comes a little bit from a place of privilege, privilege for us. Our privilege, yeah. We like sensational news more than we like factual news. Yeah. Well, LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus 